I think this second film feels really cinematic. It feels like it's made for the cinema. Um, it, it's taken all of the charm and the beauty of Downton Abbey and kind of elevated that even more. Um, it's really nice to see the characters out of context in the south of France. And I think there's a real challenge to the kind of class system when Hollywood comes to Downton because it's, uh, you know, it's suddenly that they, they don't rule the roost anymore and Hollywood doesn't care, you know, um, who's in charge. So that's, that's a really, you know, that, that provides a lot of funny moments. The things that people love about Downton are revisiting these characters that they've invested so many years in, that they've fallen in love with and seen go through these incredible changes over the years. So there's more of that. I think there's some really lovely resolutions for some of the most loved characters. And I think we're just seeing a real progression with Downton that um, especially the women are coming to the fore and, and taking charge of their lives a lot more. And it feels like a very interesting time in history. I think this film is pure escapism. Uh, it's feel good, it's uplifting, but it also takes you on a total emotional roller coaster. I think you'll laugh, you'll cry. And I really hope that not just the hardcore Downton fans, but also, you know, new fans will come to the fore and watch this film too, because it really does work as a standalone uh, cinematic experience.